And with Marissa. Now, here's of the first lesson of the day is when you shampoo the hair and you condition it, you got to comb it at the backwash. Yeah, because if you don't comb it at the backwash with a conditioner in it, then when your client comes back from the backwash, and now you, you're saying like, why is it still tangled? It's because you, you didn't break it up at the backwash with the conditioner. The conditioner is going to give you the moisture and the slip. So, and then these 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 detangling brushes have been like, they're good, but they're also kind of like less good because people just use these brushes to rake the hair out. So that's why this great comb here, wide tooth comb, if you're gonna detangle the hair, you section the hair out, you break it up like so. The art of being an apprentice or someone that's taking care of hair, it starts from the minute the client walks in and it goes right the way to the backwash every single experience that you do it's very important and i'm telling you too because you're going to be a hairdresser and you want to be you want to be successful don't you marissa i do want to be successful good i do she does <laughs> and when you're combing the hair out come and see this lauren i need to watch when you're combing the hair out you can comb it here but that's going to pull all the tangles together tangle so then once you've got that there then you're gonna come right here romy and you're gonna comb it from the, you're gonna work from the ends up, yeah? But you see what happens is, these detangling brushes have become a get out of jail. And I don't like it. Yeah, I'm not a big fan. Even though we do make them, because the, everyone's looking for a, a it's, if for a consumer, I think the detangling brush is fantastic. For a hairdresser, it's good to have every tool that's available to us. But then what happens is young hairdressers come to the market, coming into the hair business, think, oh, it just detangle it with a detangling brush. It doesn't detangle the hair anywhere near as good as a comb. I usually just use a regular comb. That's right, you do, don't you? I do. But this kind of fine hair gets tangled up a lot because mm. it's curly. And she doesn't have enough layers in her hair. Now, you, um, in a second, in fact, why don't you show the, our audience now because they're tuning in. Oh, look. <laughs> look, Lauren. Look how cute yeah. that is. That is horrible. So cute. All smashed. Hey. She's all listen, smashed you know the what? phone up. You should have seen the other guy. You should have seen the other guy. Why is he always, what's up with, why is he always anti-guy here now? God. No, always. actually it was a woman that texted ah, yeah, me yeah, yeah, who yeah. hates men. Who and hates she was, what? She was sending me a text message and it fell in my pocket and it was something stupid like, K. Okay. And I was like, really? Look what your K did to my phone. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I, I think you should Hits. stay at stay at Aveda. <laughs> you should stay at Aveda. Honestly. Stay. She's got temper. So show us the okay, hair style you. that you're looking you. for. I'm gonna show you. Yeah, but the towel please, Rama. Right? Also, my clients, I like my clients to make sure you see okay. this hair so well. So this without the bang. <laughs> I'm talking. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I'm Welcome to my life. <laughs> Hi, Val. I'm chatting and she just, she can't listen. No. She's like, uh, I don't you know, have ears. If it was 30 years just ago, if it was 30 years ago, she'd be a New York broad. Yeah. It's <laughs> the word we would use. All right. Oh, no. okay. okay. Now squeeze out the moisture. Squeeze out the moisture so that it's not like sopping wet. And now let's have a look at Marissa's inspiration. Marissa, oh, over to you. Can I talk now? You can talk. <laughs> can I talk? Yes, you can talk. This is okay, but without the bangs though. This is, this is okay without the bangs. So yes, no bangs. bangs. Do you like all that? You like it that short on the top? I don't know. What do you think? Give it to me. Okay. I'm going to gonna leave it to you. Because you want to leave it long. I'm giving you? you the... Uh, I get the creative freedom. Oh, I like that. The creative freedom. <laughs> I feel so honored. Now you fold your towel. Mm -hmm. This is how you do it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then you're professional. <laughs> and I'm over here with my professional guy, Mr. Roman. <laughs> now what we're gonna do is we're gonna add some conditioner. We're gonna put a little bit of cream whip in the hair to prep it. 
So I always do my product placement in front of my client. Whoa. Shamwell. <laughs> yeah. A lot of cream. That's wet. a lot of cream. Yeah, that's right, David. That's a lot of cool it. Because we're going to make it like full and lush. Yeah. And sometimes it's nice to get that product in uh, so you, when you're cutting, you kind of prep the hair. Because I'm going to kind of go from wet to semi-dry with the haircut. And when you're applying products, don't slap it on. Work it through. Try and make it as graceful as possible so that, you know, you just look as professional as possible. Push yeah. that product in. Now what we're going to do is we're going to comb it through. Comb it through. And that'll just... The Cream Whip is a lightweight cream conditioner that's a leave-in. It's not good. a rinse-out. Smells oh, nice, yeah? Sure nice. It's your friend. She's calling you. She said, what are you doing? On? I'm watching you on TV and you... <laughs> I'm watching you on my computer and you... <laughs> you won't shut. It's Sorry. a clean show. <laughs> It's a clean I show. I stopped myself. My New York broad. Mm -hmm. I stopped myself. Okay. okay, so now this mm -hmm. is what we're going to do. We're going to section it down the center. So when you section it down the center, you put your finger on your comb. Come right the way through. And then you get a really nice clean section. See that? Super clean section. The hardest part of beauty school. Is it? I had a problem. <laughs> when I first started, I could not get a clean section. You couldn't get a clean section. But then section. after a while, I had really clean sections. Yes. And my teacher was like, you have clean sections. I was like, thank you. Wow. You have <laughs> clean sections, my dear. Right. We have a She didn't always have clean sections. Oh, my God. She's going to make a great hairdresser. <laughs> <laughs> She's chatting. I know. I feel like it was that. Uh, Say that again. Nothing. You mean my money? My money. Yeah. Okay. Do we have anybody watching? Is anyone watching my young Marissa here? Yeah. Steven Good. Statlin's asking, does he slice Christmas ham like that? Whoa! <laughs> burr, burr. Christmas, to me? Christmas ham. It's not even Halloween yet. This guy's jumping the gun. Jumping the gun. <laughs> is Mina watching? Um, I mean, Mina, Mina, if you're watching, give your friends Mina? a shout out. All right. Now what we're going to do is we've got to try and steady her down because she's Ooh, a, she's a mover. She's a mover and a shaker. So now we're going to split the hair. Okay. We're going to split the hair mm -hmm. up right through across the top. Not the top of the head, but just above the crown right here. So you can see the crown area is right here. So we've split it. And we're going to start by layering the back. So I'm going to use my razor because that's a really great way for me to kind of keep the hair nice and long. We want to keep her hair long, but really what she's looking for, is she's looking for more action in the layers and more volume. And she doesn't have super dense, thick hair, but this hair does pad out and fill out a lot. Yeah. All right, so we're gonna take, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a central section, and uh, it's like right down the center. And I'm gonna comb this hair straight back. I'm gonna drop the chair down just a little. And that's gonna enable me to get the perfect start vantage point. So this nice thing about this comb is it's nice and big. Do you know what I want you to do? Go and get me a white comb from the, uh, from the counter there. Let's get a new comb. It'll be easier for people to see, I think, if I work with my white comb. Just bring it over and let's show everybody it before we open it can see because these combs are brilliant combs and this is the AP C3 so it's a white comb let me see if I can just open that it's an Arojo comb and you'll be it's good for seeing the sectioning thanks Roman just leave that piece of paper right there so I can get it out of inventory haha -ha. <laughs> all right so now with this central section and I dropped it. I'm not going to lift it up. I'm going to comb the hair back. I'm going to keep it nice, even tension. And we're going to choose our start point, which is going to be about here. And I'm going to slide this hand out as I start to apply the razor. I'll do it two ways. So the reason why I do it two ways is this is the center back of the head. So I'm always combing in. So if this is the center, I've got to comb it in both ways. 
and that will establish the length of the layers. Now, the reason why I slide my fingers is because I'm working towards the length. And right here, you can see, I always want to see where I, where I was. That's my point right here. Work all the way out to a pre-existing length. And there you go. So I kept all the length. It's actually fallen out. Kept all the length. Now I'm going to do exactly the same, but I'm going to comb it the opposite way. So you'll notice my hand position changes because, uh, but I can approach it the same both ways. I'm always combing inwards. So with this being the central section through the back, I'm going to comb it in both ways. And this is like a second pass and it gives me a chance to look at it twice. All right, so now I've cut my first section in. That's my guide. I'm going to stay on her right hand side and I'm going to comb everything in towards the center. Uh, so that, and I'm going to kind of scoop it because it's a razor cut. It's a little bit more loose. You should be able to see the guide just a little right in here. Is that seeable? Yeah. So, because it's a razor cut, it's loose, so it means that I can be more fluid. And we're using what we call an open stroke as we work through the hair. We do have a razor advanced class coming up in New York in November. I believe it may be the last class of the year in our academy. November 4th through 6th. November 4th through the 6th, check it out. We've got Carmel teaching day one, and then we have Alex teaching day two and three. Scoop that hair in. Get that blade moving, I'm using the side of the blade to keep it nice and soft. Patrick Lou said, Nick, don't cut yourself. Hey, Pat Lou. <laughs> I'll try not to cut myself. It was good to see you in Chicago, buddy. I was good to see you in New York, but hopefully I'll see you in <laughs> Chicago. I'll send you the date of when I'm coming into town. I'll be coming into Chicago literally in a couple of weeks. I have a, a class to teach. I'll be there with uh, my distributor, Beauty Craft. So we're excited for that. Pauline Wozni says, good morning, everyone. Oh, Pauline Wozni, I'm glad you tuned in because Pauline, it's official. We're going to do Halloween Happy Mondays. <laughs> Yes. So, uh, Pauline, you're going to be in charge of that. I'll be in touch with you. It's Pauline's my helping hand mm -hmm. for Happy Mondays. What is a Happy Monday? What is a Happy Monday? It, uh, is edu it is education on a Monday night in my academy. It's the first, usually it's the first Monday pretty much of every month. Mm. It does vary. But that we call it Happy Mondays. It's a great way to start the week with hair education. Yeah. In fact, I have a Happy Mondays in, is it, where, where am I doing it? Uh, Charleston. Charleston. Yeah, what date's that? November 12th. November 12th. Complimentary education with my di distributor, The Forward Factory. All right, so open stroke. Mm. Notice as I raise a cup, it's not the wrist that moves, it's just the tips of the fingers. And the reason why I'm starting in this point is really the vantage point is to give her as much uh, volume as possible. So that's why we start right at the, the spot that she needs to have that volume. If we overlayer it, it's gonna get weaker at the bottom. So we don't want it to get weaker at the bottom, yeah? We wanna still try and retain as much hair as possible so that the hair still feels thick and full. We have a comment from Mike Turpin. He mm -hmm. said, good morning, Nick. I'm finally on the floor at Paul Mitchell School. I'm learning so much from your videos. Even my teacher is noticing my talent. Thank you so much. Oh, you're very welcome. Good luck with your career, buddy. So right the way, and this will be my last section, scooping it all the way in. I'm going to rotate to kind of cut out. So I scoop in and I rotate to cut out. 
Keep those feet moving so that you're never in a static place. Okay, let's bring over Cheddar. I mean, sorry, Brie. <laughs> come over here, Brie. Oh, yeah. come this here, is Cheddar. a come here, Cheddar. Cheddar. Good job, Cheddar. <laughs> come on, Cheddar. My truck driving piece of cheese. <laughs> Brie, bring over your picture of. Okay. Bring over the one picture. Give me one good shot of what we're kind of going to do with your hair. And then we're going to get a washed. And we're going to use a special product. Can you bring the, is the Renew there at the back wash? Bring it over. Special product. Special. Show us the picture. Here? Come here, yeah, it's okay. So this is Brie, she's Hello. our second. Like she's our second <laughs> cut. These girls are friends, they don't stop talking with each other. <laughs> hey, I sat talking for like 10 minutes. You know what Marissa. <laughs> she's, she's nothing Now you trouble. know what we'd go through. I can tell. Yeah, so we're going to make it a little squarer. Squ a little square is the idea. Yes. So we're going to keep, let's have a look, we're going to keep kind of that, like this length in here, mm -hmm. but we're going to nibble this up so it's a little squarer, so like a razor bob, and then we'll strengthen the bangs to let the eyebrow and kind of pop them out, mm -hmm. show off those like greeny eyes. Perfect. We're going to use this product. This is called Renew Co-Wash. This uh, um, is going to actually cleanse the hair. It's a non-foaming cleanser. Give it a really good rinse. And then Roma put that in and put a lot in and work it in and leave it in for two minutes and then rinse it. And we'll get back to uh, the very well behaved. I am being well behaved. So I cut everything okay. inwards this way, in, in. Now what I'm going to do, and I, I, can you see Mike? Can you see me? Everything was cut in this way. Now everything's going to be cut in this way. So the position changes in and in. So everything is kind of always keep your head directly in front of what you're doing. I'll spin her around. <laughs> she giggles. She has, like little, she has like little giggles. I'll spin her right round. And then I'll do exactly what we did um, on the opposite side. Or on the first side. So we just finished our big event expo. It was a big success. We had a uh, three days. Actually, the welcoming party was here in Williamsburg, Brooklyn. After the welcoming party, we had a day at the Brooklyn Bowl uh, in uh, North Williamsburg, and uh, that was a really exciting day of education with uh, people like Peter Gray, Ginger Boyle, Sifredo, Sonobrado, plenty of great people, uh, as well as alongside my team. And then Sunday night, we had a big kind of press launch of our new collection, the images that we showed you in the windows. You'll get to see them. It's called The Collective, Lauren, yes? Yep, The Collective. And uh, we got some great imagery a new inspiration to share with everybody in the hairdressing community. And then on Monday, we got to do hands-on. If you've never been to Expo before, definitely keep an eye on, keep an eye on it for, uh, for the next one. It's a great, it's our show. It's our hairdressing event. It kind of celebrates our celebration of our craft. And uh, it's an amazing, inspirational, and fun, and realistic, you know, snapshot of the industry, as well as, you know, being able to learn new education. So check it out for next time. Scooping all the hair in, into the center, so as to keep length around the sides and the back. And we're gonna fill out her hair. She's looking for more volume, more movement within her hair. So really the sweet spot is to judge. You've gotta judge the sweet spot of the hair because I've got to see what this hair does as Where's it dries. Sweet spot? Your sweet spot, I got to choose the sweet spot. Oh, you choose. Yep. And what that means is it means that I don't want to cut the hair too short and I don't want to leave the hair too long. So I've kind of got to choose the sweet spot that gives us the volume while still keeping the length and still looking great. Flat of the blade, the flat of the blade means that we're actually 
putting the blade in horizontal. So flat to the hair, not across, flat to the hair. And when we go flat to the hair, that creates a more seamless, soft layer. Now, if you're just tuning in, we prepped her hair with a little bit of my product called Cream Whip. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna move into the front. So now we're gonna work from the back to the front. So this area here is gonna be the pivot point. So I'm gonna kind of pinwheel these sections around. Now she does, she has curly texture, but does, she doesn't have a lot of hair. Mm -hmm. yeah, it's not like super dense. She has fine texture. So that's why that sweet spot that I was referring to is trying to judge where the hair really comes out into its own. And we'll know more as the hair dries. April Owen says, love from Texas. Texas? Whereabouts in Texas, April? We, we're going to Texas, uh, is it this weekend? I think it's this weekend. Oh yeah, Austin, Texas. Austin, Texas. American Wave we're doing our American Wave certification in Austin, Texas. It's a sellout. Sell our event, Austin, Texas, American Wave. American Wave is our texture service. American Wave would be a great service for Marissa too. Yes. Even though Marissa has some curl and movement to her hair, if she wants to dial that curl and texture up. You know, I'm about to run out of my shampoo and conditioner. Oh, yes you are. Well, American Wave is actually Marissa. Yeah. It's actually a service. It's a service. Yeah, we use the American Wave shampoo and conditioner on your hair. Yeah. But American Wave is actually uh, where oh, we put more permanent do. curl in your hair. In the good ah. old days, your mum would have called it a perm. Yes. Yeah? But oh, it's different perms. product. Oh. It's different chemicals. Mm. And it's called American Wave. American Wave. Would make your hair fuller. I see Beautiful. a silver hair, Marissa. I love it. Yeah, are you looking? I just got out of a very intense relationship and I had three silver hairs from this guy. Yeah. Three. Can you believe it? Wow. Just three? Just three. How many did I'm he have? I'm 28 years old. How three. many did he have? <laughs> oh, he had a bunch. He had a bunch. <laughs> How many do you think he had? How old was he? 39. Oh. But he looked, he didn't look like that. He was like a musician. 28 to 39, eh? Oh, yeah, I like him old. She likes him. <laughs> <laughs> that was a that was a laugh. That was a Halloween laugh, wasn't it? Hey, that, was like, that was like the witches of Eastwick. I got a cackle. A cackle, that's right. <laughs> so now we're going to work on the opposite side. Now keep it on the head because I'm not using the mirror, but the most important thing is to make sure that the head is in the perfect position. Because everything when you're cutting long hair like this, and I'm going to move her away from the mirror because she just Damn keeps it. moving her head. She's a mover and a shaker. Oh, we'll so get that blade moving, a nice open stroke. Yeah. And we can scoop that hair out. Make sure you get right in with your comb, right in to the cleanness of the section. You want to get right into the base. I'm gonna check, I'm gonna do like what I call like a little touch point. I'm gonna check and see how balanced the hair is. You can kind of pull it through and you see then feel the hair work through your fingers. And that'll tell you, looks pretty good. Because I'm doing a, a you know, because I'm doing a razor cut, it's kind of more fluid. So it doesn't have to be so uh, super, it needs to be precise but it needs to also have its own kind of freedom personality. So when you're working like this, definitively allow the hair to talk to you a little bit and let it see what happens. And if you was looking at the consultation, you could see that the hair wasn't balanced in the layers. This is an internal layer. So we're internally layering it uh, so that we can get more volume without making it look overtly like a, a, a like an old-fashioned kind of mullet no well, that's not really what we're going for no uh, aren't they i don't think i'm really a mullet gal you don't i don't know did your boyfriend have a mullet no no he had nice hair he had nice hair 
He's ready. He had like curly hair. And it was nice. <laughs> He had nice hair and it was he curly. He had curly hair. And she made Past him... Past tense. After we broke up, he doesn't... His it, hair doesn't exist. Here. Is this a recent now. breakup? Uh, yeah. This is a family show, young lady. I mean, his hair looks like poof. <laughs> we have a uh, Michael who is trying to hit on you. So if you want to... Oh, Michael. Got a date over Hello, here. Michael. Uh -huh. Hello. <laughs> Hello, Michael. Is that what did Michael what does your say? Your hair look like Michael. He said, "Oh snap, she's single. I'm 42. What's Gucci? I'm right-handed." Uh, <laughs> let's what? Let's Gucci. Well, he had me at Gucci. What does that mean? Let's Gucci. What's Gucci? Like, what does that what's mean? good? It means. What does it mean? Let's Gucci. Let's what's Gucci. Good? What does it mean? Like what's good? Uh, it means. Good? Uh, oh my God, my favorite thing. <laughs> Never mind, it's a family show. It's a family show. It's a family okay. show. <laughs> Gucci. Gloria Gucci. said I think she still loves her ex. <laughs> oh shit, now there's gonna be a whole thing online. Yeah, it's happening. I always love why wouldn't I love my ex? Alright, anyways, next subject. <laughs> now it's a good show. What's Gucci? I'm using my little Gucci. hydro mist. <laughs> I love Gucci, why wouldn't I love Gucci? All right, keep your head right. still, Gucci. All right. All right. You Gucci. Okay, you too, Gucci. Okay. <laughs> or else I'm going to give you bangs. Don't you dare. All right, well, you just... I'm trying to get rid of them. www.zipit.com. <laughs> All right, so now it's time to add the... Do you want your hair to come out good? No. Okay. Yes, of course. I want it to come out Gucci. <laughs> so there's no blend, so I need to get through the blend. So right now what I'm doing is I'm looking through the hair, I'm using the tip of the blade, and then right in here we're going to try and blend that just a little. So really comb the hair, flat and tight, hold it nice and tight and comb it flat so you can get the angle. And then we're going to lift that hair up and just tip into it. Next section. Keep your sections nice and thick because you want enough density in the section that you get what I like to call feedback. So I can feel every stroke of the blade as I place it in to the hair to make sure that we're just getting a really fluid, seamless line. It's a little bit like sculpture, but it's also like architecture because it's elevation, over direction. I am following lines, but the sculpture piece is because I'm using a tool that doesn't just change the ends, actually integrates the, uh, the hair on the inside. So section two, section three, I'm gonna keep these sections really dense. See, look how that's a super wide section. And now I'm gonna elevate. And I'm looking through the hair again, just a little bit in here. And then just the tip to soften. Now, once you make the hair a little softer with the tip, it actually puts some shortness on the inside. Putting some shortness on the inside is going to expand as the hair dries, because shorter hair will expand a little bit more, because it won't drop because it's shorter. And that's going to give us some of that volume that she's looking for mm -hmm. and then she can go out on a date with Mikey boy <laughs> <laughs> she's saying nothing now <laughs> just keep your head still Gucci. I'm, just gonna, I'm gonna keep it Gucci keep it Gucci for your Gucci <laughs> mm. now she's got curl to her hair so you can see what's happening you want to play with that. So we did one side, now we'll spin around and I'll come around here and we'll do the opposite side. You doing okay? Yeah, I'm great. She's great. <laughs> so a little bit of hydro mist is a great product for not making the hair so damp. That's a great product. It's also a great product for her if she wants to refresh her hair in the morning. Let's just say she doesn't want to wash it, doesn't need to be washed every day. Mm -hmm. She wants to refresh it. A little hydro mist is a great tool to refresh. But really for me, it's a great tool 
It's a great product to use so that I can, you don't want to let the razor go through hair like this dry. So what this does is just adds a little slip, a little moisture, adds a little softness so that then I can kind of be very fluid with my blade. I'm getting close to finishing the cut. And then we're gonna have Mr. Roman dry it and I'll give you the lesson of how I want it. I'll show you what we're gonna use. We'll put the products in, we'll dry it. Make sure she doesn't talk. I'm not gonna speak. <laughs> yeah, you're not allowed to talk to Roman. Um, no. Okay, Who's Roman, his, the guy with the tattoos. I'm yeah. not speaking anymore. <laughs> You're upset? No. <laughs> <laughs> You're just not talking. <laughs> Thank. Thank. Thanks, Roman. <laughs> <laughs> Section this round. No, I got a taste of my own medicine recently, so. You got a taste of your own medicine? I was hanging on this guy that talked too much. He did? Yeah, I was like, shut the fuck. <laughs> Front door. He talked. He talked. Too he talked too much. Like, talked. No, I don't have to be a star. I just want to like have a fluent conversation. I can't I wait. I can't. I can't wait for you to go to Aveda. <laughs> I can't You're wait gonna to miss go to. Me when I'm done. We're gonna hear you. We're just so <laughs> close. We'll hear be able me. to I'm hear you. I'm just gonna be walking and be like, oh, I'm gonna be... every single day. <laughs> exactly. They can't wait. They can't wait to get you. Well, it's good to have a great personality in our industry. I think it's really important for you to learn how to communicate, control. You don't want to, you got to kind of be serious, but light at the same time. Yeah. Yeah, especially when you're dealing with uh, your clients. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because at the end of the day, it's not just the cut that they're coming for, it's the experience. And you have to make sure that the experience you know, the is a great experience. Did. And you know, you gotta learn how to not talk over somebody when they're talking, okay? And I'm, don't play, I've got a razor here in my hand. <laughs> Do we have any questions from our audience, Laura? We'll no. see ever. So. Uh, <laughs> Did anyone get a word in? <laughs> Michael's asking when you're gonna come to Santa Monica. Oh, Jesus Christ. So, Michael, give it up. I think, no, he's asking for Nick. When's Nick coming to Santa Monica? <laughs> Tell Michael to give it up. Tell Michael some it's not, all, it's not all about you. <laughs> I know you think it is. It's not all about you. Well, it's me, it really is. Uh, Santa Monica in January. I'll be there in January in Santa Monica. And we're going to come and do a shoot there. And uh, we're going to go to the show. That's going to uh, be Gucci. The big trade show. And we're going to have fun. <laughs> I'm gonna keep getting bits off. <laughs> Stop! You better, you better chill. <clears throat> you better chill. So right now we're getting close to the end. So now, and you'll notice the texture. I'm allowing that to dry, and I'm coming and just adding a little bit more as I come through. I'm looking through the hair, so I'm looking to see what the balance looks like, and see whether she's getting that lift which she, which she wants. Not going to cut bangs in. She was distinct that she didn't want to have bangs. No, I'm done with bangs. And this is a nice way to cut too. Just channel in. So what I've actually done there is I cut channels. If you can see them, cut some channels in. And that gives, still gives her the length, but it gives, again, a little bit more of a defined sharp piece. Because if the pieces are a little bit chunkier, a little thicker and fuller, then they're ex it's excellent. I notice how I'm elevating the hair so I can see through it. I always want to be able to look through it. If you hold the hair down, you can't see through it. And you can see through it. And see how we've allowed this hair to... It's still damp, but it's definitely getting drier. Annette Massey says, loving the look, Nick. Did you not go live for your haircut this time? I did not go live for mine. I didn't have time. <laughs> My hair got super long because I've been so busy. I mean, probably the busiest year I've ever had work-wise. 
just you know running three businesses is uh takes a lot of work lauren knows that mm -hmm. she's in it all the time although she was away for a week last week you know just hanging out i don't know what you was doing lauren what was well, she doing we didn't miss you <laughs> i think you did we didn't miss you oh good we didn't miss you I had strep throat and then I had to go amazing? to a wedding. Strep throat, strep throat. I never get strep throat. Isn't it amazing? You think of someone with my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> What'd she say? <laughs> You've oh never had God. it. We're trying to get her to actually not do her and do stand up. <laughs> I think she, she does, I think she can do both. Yeah. yeah. You know, uh, can my clients that I had in a beta a few times, I was always the favorite. You was. <laughs> I had a lot of rebooks. I had the most rebooks in the class. Rebooks. We want rebooks. Re What's a rebook? <laughs> like where they're like, oh, she's fucking. I mean, freaking. <laughs> Come on, you're going to get me she's, kicked off. She's great. You're going to get flagged. You're she get is flagged, flipping young lady. great. Yeah. And we want her again. And I never cursed in front of them, which is weird, too. Yeah, well, right now you are. I know, but it's morning time. Well, <laughs> it's morning time every day. <laughs> Morning. It's school time. It's school. Oh, geez, we're in school. Okay. Farah says, can you ask Nick my question? Farah, I don't see a question from you, so can you retype it? And then I'll ask him. Please. Now, I picked up the scissor, and I'm just going to have a little kind of look through the hair with the scissor just to just seal some of those ends. Cold in New York today. The weather finally... Warm weather finally left the town. So you see the angle of the hair as it moves upwards and away. So we've worked it to keep the length. That come. And now I've changed to the white teeth of the comb. So the white teeth of my white comb enables me to put a little bit less tension on the hair. I think it looks pretty good. So now we, let's get it prepped and I'll show you how to prep it. Now, you're not allowed to touch it, okay? You're not allowed to touch it. I'm a, when you go off there with Roman, you need to zip. <laughs> Because you're, it's our time, not your time. You've had your time. I won't time. say anything. I'm going to sit and reflect. Just still talking. I know. <laughs> yeah? You can sit and reflect. I'm going to sit and reflect. Talk to myself. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take a product called Wave Mist. This product's a phenomenal product. Remember, we prepped the hair already. We already prepped the hair with, uh, with uh, cream whip. So now we're going to put this Beach Wave Mist. And I'm going to douse it. And this is gonna give it a little bit more hold and control, but I'm gonna set it, so I'm gonna do a wet set. And I feel like I know what's happening to the hair. So I feel good about what we got. Did that question ever come in, Lauren? Uh, she just said there are such short layers in comparison to the length. Yes. And the reason is, is her picture that she showed me was kind of like a 70s pinup was heavily layered and a very heavy shag. So whenever you say the, whenever I hear the word shag, it means lots of movement and looseness. Oh, she's asking, how do you blend it? You blend it by, yeah, you're doing like this kind of a shape. Because if you think about this hair, if we plugged her into the socket, and we may do in a second, <laughs> all the hair stood out 90 <laughs> degrees from the head, she'd like it. <laughs> what we've done is we've cut it like this so that the length falls longer and the internal shorter. So it's short to long, and that's how you blend it. And we cut it inside out, inside out, inside out, inside out. If you cut it outside in, you'd cut the outsides off. So that's why we cut it inside out. Now what we're gonna do, Romy, come here and hold some sections. You'll see, you've seen me, if you've watched the show, uh, Brooklyn Live, you'll see me do this a lot. So white teeth to the comb. I'm just gonna lightly, ever so lightly, just try and lock in 
a little bit of curl texture. Yep. And the reason why we do that is because it diminishes the frizz. So we do like our little wet set. And I do like a little zigzag section. And I comb it with the white teeth of the comb. Yes, yeah, so she has fine hair, so it's prone to lightly tangle. It's always the kind of hair. I've, I've hair like that myself. So I was so used to it when my hair was longer, I used to get like a little thick knot in the back. How After long day was it? three, it was long like yours. I've had my hair long like yours when I was younger. Yeah. And these are like big one inch sections and I'm not heavily twisting. I'm just kind of encouraging what's already there. And the wave mist is gonna dial up the texture. So it's gonna enhance the texture. Farah's asking, when do you recommend diffusing versus wet set like you're doing? Oh, we're gonna diffuse it. Roman's gonna diffuse it. He's gonna use my, uh, at my YS Park sock diffuser, which we'll show you. They're available at Erosio Pro. No promo this week, but if you are looking for tools, you can always check out erosiopro.com. That's our professional site. All of the tools that we curate, brushes, scissors, razors, clips, combs, everything that we curate, that we give to our students when they uh, join the, the school, we sell them. And if you're interested, we'll be in Birmingham, Alabama this week. This weekend, we're doing the premiere show. It's our last, it's our last professional trade show of the year. Although we do have a show in London next, next week, which is called the Indie Beauty Expo. So we're gonna be in London next week as well. But this weekend, Birmingham, Alabama, Mama, for the premiere show, we're taking our booth will be present at Elevate Hair 2. One of my stylists, Michelle, uh, is gonna be uh, on, the, on the stage. And I'll be doing main stage and classrooms this weekend in Birmingham. It's been a couple of years since we went to Birmingham, so it should be fun. Uh, let's see, Taylor Jameson said, heard you had Ginger Boyle there last weekend. Told her to tell you hello. Oh yes, yeah, she did. And we did have Ginger, and she did a great job. Mm -hmm. And uh, she brought a great stylist with her. And uh, Elle, and we, she did a great show, it was fantastic. Mm -hmm. All right, now I've done one side, let me come around and do the other. Farrah's asking, will you be in Florida anytime soon? That's, if so, what city? That's a great question. I'm gonna be in Florida twice in the next uh, three weeks. Wave, miss, please. I'm gonna be in Wellington my dear friend Tom Monticello, Salons Visions, and uh, I'm going to be in Wellington. It's a suburb of uh, Palm Beach. He's celebrating 30 years of being in business, so I'm going to go and celebrate with him. Uh, he's doing a fundraiser for charity, so it'll be exciting. And then I will be also in Fort Myers. I'm in Fort Myers, I'll be there. And that is to teach a class at Create Salon, which is another ambassador of Erosio. They carry Erosio products, and I'll be there at Fort Myers. And then I'm also going to go back to Palm Beach because my friend Tracy has just opened a salon. Actually, she just, re she just opened a new location, and that's going to be on December the 5th. So, yeah, a lot of Florida. Mm -hmm. And we have a home in Florida, so I get to see my home. I think it's a homie. Sorry? I <laughs> said so we have a, have a homie in Florida. <clears throat> That's what I heard. Right? You heard he's like, I got a homie in Florida. She was quite, Romy, yes. she was quiet. Don't let her distract you. Yeah? Don't let Marissa distract you here. She's doing it. She's doing yeah, it. It hurts. She couldn't it keep, hurts. It, she, couldn't, she, couldn't, she couldn't keep quiet Ooh, for long. I heard what was that? Hot and heard of who? I've been quiet for longer. You've been quiet for longer? Yeah, my grandfather used to tell me that. He's like, you want to play a game? Let's see if you can be quiet for longer. 
And who won? <laughs> she always no, lost. Not <laughs> yeah. I don't know who won. Yeah, he he left. I won. He left the house. <laughs> I won. He said, "I'm out. I'm out." Never saw him again. I'm gonna go. <laughs> I'm gonna go shopping. You're gonna go shopping yeah. in China. That's what my grandma. <laughs> in China. Get me out of here. What was his name? And my grandfather. Yeah. His name is Eugene. Eugene. Eugene and Nina. Is he Italian? He's Polish and my grandmother's Puerto Rican. And then my other grandparents are Italian. Oh, that's, that's it. So you got Puerto Rican, Italian, Italian and, Polish. and Polish in you. And the trifecta of New York. You are the trifecta of New York. <laughs> what was you doing in San Francisco anyway? I went there for that guy that gave me the gray hair. Oh, you went for the guy. Yeah, I went there for a year, and I was like, this is What are you girls? You're just always running around looking for, you know, you no, find guys everywhere. No, he found me. He ran around, at, he found me, and then I was like, okay, fine. I'll try California. Why not? Stay, stay in I Santa Monica. Stay in Santa Monica, Michael. You can live with palm trees. <laughs> I was like, I could do palm trees, and then I was like, this is boring. I've got news for you. I was There's bored. no palm trees in San Francisco, love. There was, yes, there were plenty, and I saw one right up from the window. You did? Yeah, and I was like, this is okay. But it was cold, and the water was too cold to swim in, and it was boring. And everyone just like, shh. No more. Shot. Oh. No more. <laughs> no more. I mean, I love no San more. Francisco. I'm going to say favorite. Okay. No, no, don't plug it in. Look at that sock. This, actually, you don't plug it in so I can show everybody. I'm going to show it's you how to dry it, too. Pizza. I'm going to hold that. I'm going to take this off. Alright, I'll take that off. And now what I'm gonna do here's a technique for everybody, yeah? And for you too. I'm if watching. you want anyone to be quiet, all you need to do is put their head down. I'm serious. Watch this, watch this. When your head's down like that, you can't talk. I can talk. Well, she can. <laughs> <laughs> Outer ears. So this is my stock good views up. And we're gonna dry the roots first. And you're going to keep your hand around so that you can feel how much heat. And Romy's going to take her away and he's going to dry her in Soho. <laughs> <laughs> so we're just going to work through and just rotate. All right, Romy? All right. What we're going to do is I felt like my nozzle fell off. Me too. Yeah, you <laughs> you too. So let me just take that. I'm gonna keep it on. Because when you work with this YS Park diffuser, which we sell, you can keep your nozzle on and they're an excellent diffuser. All right, Romy, take her over to that chair over there. All right. Don't, not, don't let her touch it, yeah? And just no, dry it. Okay. All right, and then come on over here, young lady. Let's bring over Brie, we'll do number two. Cheddar. 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 <laughs> I love it. New nickname. So now we'll do a quick razor bob. We've got to power through. It would have been a lot quicker, but she I know. chats a lot. I know. She's a chatty one. <laughs> All right, let's do it. You ready? Yes. Okay, so I'm just going to run through this pretty quick. Lauren, you talk to me if there's any questions. Mm -hmm. She's got a lot of hairs and she's got a, she has a car <laughs> on the street <laughs> that we need to make sure. It's okay, usually they come a little after. I'm going to make sure she's out by 11.30. So let's power through it. Straight down the center back, look for the center back. With his spine. She has a lot of hair. I'm gonna dampen the hair down with my hydro mist. I'm gonna work side to side. We're gonna keep a pre-existing length through the front. We're gonna skinny the hair up a little. The hair was cleansed using our Renew Co-Wash, which is a non-foaming cleanser. And now just a little hydro mist. And let's get right in. Keep your sections nice and clean. Comb the hair nice and tight. 
and then I'm just gonna get right in there with my blade. I'm gonna use the same razor for this haircut. I don't think we've dulled the blade too much. I think the blade should be okay. If not, I have another razor handy, standing by if need be. See what happens, Lauren? They forget, don't they? Everyone always forgets. So right the way through, just clean that up. Next section, you're just gonna work with your classic bob sections. Practice really good combing. And we're using more the edge of the blade. When I talk about the edge of the blade, you've seen me work with a with the flat of the blade. The edge of the blade is going to create more of a cleaner line. So initially, we're going to work with the edge of the blade to create more of a cleaner line through the haircut. And on one side, you start from the back of the blade, and the other side, you start on the tip or the front. in here, I just want to get it perfect. What was your favorite bit about Expo, Lauren? Hmm, my favorite, I really liked, obviously the runway show, but I really enjoyed listening to the business symposium. Yeah, I think true. that was really cool. And you like the you were listening to the last year's one, yeah? Yeah. And you like this year's one too? Yeah, they're both really good. A lot of insight. And I loved uh, the ending with you and Edda. I think that was really special. Oh you did? Yeah. Nice. I think that was a nice story to share. Yeah. Excellent. Yeah. Yeah, we like to mix business with uh, for the owners. We like to mix a bit of business in. We think it's important to kind of share our stories. I run three salons here in New York City. So it's very challenging. Yeah, running the hair salons. I have uh, probably about 60 stylists now. And then we have about 30 in training constantly. And we're always looking. That's how I build my business. And it, we're always looking for hairdressers and we're looking for teachers right now. So if anyone's interested in working with Erosio, they can always send me a direct message. I will meet with them and let them know how the process would, what the process could be and would be. We're always looking for staff. Mm -hmm. Notice I use the white tooth of the comb to comb the hair from side to side. That just enables the hair to sit in a little bit better. So the flat of the blade. I rotated the blade around a little to get to the flat. Because as we start, we've got the lining now. I want to put a little bit of texture into the hair. And again, I think you'll, I'll introduce scissor into this hair also. There'll be some scissor work later. She does want to grow her hair, but really what she wants to do before she grows it is square the hair up, the hairstyle up a little so that it's got a nicer, uh, I think a punchier shape. It'll be better for the features of her face. So now as I'm starting to move up, kind of as the head starts to work away as we've moved over the occipital bone, I'm gonna angle my section slightly differently. And you can see that I'm working with the flat of the blade in here and then locking it down, hopefully you've got the angle. Really practice great combing as you work side to side. So there's a slight change in the angle. There's a little elevation also, and there's a little bit of flatness in the razor cutting. 
and that when I when I open the blade or when you see the blade move a little bit more it means that we're actually putting in a little bit more texture by eliminating a little bit of the thickness we have a hello from Florida from Cara Brolini hey Cara and Haley Covington says, finally bought a new Arroyo razor comb. I love it. Excellent. Thanks for coming out to see us this past weekend, Haley. See you again on our journey. Mm -hmm. I'm sure in the not too distant future. So working all the way up, keep your sections nice and clean. You can see now how the section has changed. And you can see if we're taking this out, slight over direction back to retain the length towards the front. What's 44? Is that a state or something? Are you from Florida? Yeah, I used to live in Florida too. <laughs> Me too. Yeah, what part? Fort Lauderdale. All right. You? Um, my mom lives in Bradenton, but I lived in uh, Bradenton, St. Augustine, Greenville, and around a lot. So I'm rotating the hair around a little as I'm collapsing the hair into the back. Fine teeth, off the comb, and just collapsing that hair in. And this will be my last section before I come into the sides. So you see as I comb this back. Nice and clean. Look for the section. Slight over direction back. And this is going to square the hair up a little. Right, let's run right the way into this side. I know we're going to need a little bit of moisture. So let me come through with a little bit of hydro mist in the hair. You can hold it for me, sweetheart. So now let's take this section right the way through. The head in the perfect position, just like that. Take a little bit skinnier to establish your first section. You'll see, oh, she's got some short stuff under there too. <laughs> pre-existing and let's just work this in next section Johnny Vasquez is asking is that an Erosio razor? this is an Erosio razor Johnny but unfortunately it's the only one when I work with my uh, company JTI who are the distributor for the feather brand here in uh, America they made me this ivory razor as a sample as I've got quite a few different styles as we're always trying out different styles of razors for uh, for production so we may end up making the marketplace if you want something a bit unique we do have uh, our handcrafted wood razors they're pretty special you can see them all on erosiopro.com we have eight different styles, or seven different styles of wood, and they're all kind of, uh, you know, one-off boutique styles. We make 50 of each one. So, and then we get different woods. We have beech wood, rosewood, sandalwood, wood if I could. Mm -hmm. oh, Sifredo just tuned in. Hello, Sifredo. Our barber master. <laughs> yep, so Fredo was on stage with us in um, at Expo this past weekend. He did some of his artwork, some of his design work using a clipper or a small refined trimmer. Then he used his graphics pens to color it in. And then on Monday, he was with my students teaching all of my students in my Cosmo school where he did a barbering presentation for my students, which was exciting. So 
So open stroke, look how open this stroke is now. Open stroke, keeping the hair over direct it back so it gets longer towards the front and you'll see we've lifted up the back. She does have that little bit of shortness, but that would be too short to cut it to. Mm -hmm. She wants to kind of grow that out. Now she does have a lot of hair, which is good, but you can see right now that we've managed to get that angle right in. It's better, yeah? So much better. All right, so let's do this side. I'll take my little hydro mist again. Put the moisture in. Nice thing is it's such a fine mist that it doesn't saturate. Because I don't want it to be saturated. I want to see the texture of the hair. So it enables me to see the texture of the hair as I cut. Take that clip again, keep it nice and clean, establish your guideline. They forgot, you see. <laughs> Roman, Roman forgot not to get us started. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is what we do. <laughs> Hello. An entertaining one today, Laura. Uh -huh. <laughs> so just working on the opposite side. Working right the way through, and then we're going to go through and just get the bangs cut in, and then we're going to power dry. And then we're going to have both of our young ladies at the red wall. So we can see how good they look. It's cold in New York today, but the sun is shining. Mm. Is there anything you recommend? My hair is so naturally straight. Yeah. Anytime I try to give it some, just some wave, it really just doesn't take. You, when you try to, what do you use, like a curling iron or something? Uh huh. Well, a balm's not going to work. You need more of a hold product. Mm. A balm's going to be more supple. Okay. So then we have a product called Structure, which is a lightweight curl enhancer, and it's a, it's like a cream gel. That'll give it some support. That will hold. Also, our uh, spray primp, you can spritz in, and once you spritz that in. That holds the shape right in. That'll hold the curl in. Come to the front, just have a look and see. You know, it's always better to work with a mirror. When you're in the salon, work with a mirror so you can see what's happening. Fine teeth of the comb to cut, wide teeth of the comb to take the section, with the fine teeth of the comb to cut. If you over direct the hair back, the hair gets longer towards the front, it's using that over direction. Now we're going to spin around and we'll have a look. We'll see how she's, how she's looking. Mm -hmm. Much better. Good. Okay, so now it's time to look at the bangs. So, the bangs are really not a strong shape. You'll see if I just comb this hair down, the hair's almost dry and she does have super straight hair that really we need to make them a little squarer 
And lengthwise, you want it to kind of be like here? Yeah, I like when it's shorter here and then it shapes like that. That's okay. like my favorite angle for oh. my face. All right, so now let's see if I can interpret what she just said. <laughs> I have a picture too. Okay, we got you. Mm -hmm. We're ready now. Mm -hmm. So let's get the section in. So I'm gonna take a triangular section I'm not going to take in the temple hair. Thank you. Appreciate that. This is the section. It's a triangle. The first thing is establishing the right section. You want to make it even so that it's balanced. I've never cut it before, so you know, you got to kind of be strong enough to know what to do. And there's the section. You can have a look. It's that section nice and clean. So there's the section. The hair looks pretty good and balanced. So we're gonna cut it, we're gonna nibble it shorter in the center and we're gonna let it kind of work out a little bit longer towards the sides. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a section down the center. And I'm gonna pick up a fresh blade super fresh blade so I've got precision here and I've got to keep the hair down all right section one that's straight. short little tapping on the fingers so whatever you've cut can you see that yeah is whatever you've got left. You can use your clips just to keep it out of the way. Next section. <coughs> so these sections are straight. Next section across. Come there straight down, fine teeth of the comb. <coughs> so there's the, the <coughs> I've got a dry throat. It's getting warm in here. Is it dry, Romy? Right? Yeah. Okay, turn off the heat. It's getting hot in here, <laughs> isn't it? A little bit. And the sun, sun <clears> shining. <throat> Roman, can you get me a water, please? Thank you. And the heat turns on for the first time. <laughs> <clears throat> so I stayed on one side and this will be my last section. Todd Dow tuned in. He just Todd. said good morning. Todd, eh? There's one side. I've been missing my bangs. She's been missing her bangs. <laughs> so now let's do the opposite side. <clears throat> Todd, you missed a really good expo. Oh, he just asked, how was the expo? It was phenomenal. Should've came, Todd. Should've come, Todd, you Rooney. <clears throat> it was a lot of fun. Thanks, Robert. Is she dry? Yeah. Bring me a dryer over here. Please, sir. in a minute don't worry I know where you are you'll plug that dryer in Roman please 
lug that dryer in. You can take the diffuser off too. I'm done with that. So I work from the inside out. Out to the length. Now it's time for me to pick up my scissors. <clears throat> Give me the rest room. Oh, no. Pick up my scissors. And I'm just gonna nibble refine. Todd said, I gave my notice Friday when my boss wouldn't give me the time off. So if anyone here is a salon owner in Ontario, I'm available, but you must carry a Rojo product. There you go. That's right, Todd. <laughs> he knows what he's doing. <laughs> he knows what he's doing. I'm gonna blast her hair dry. So we just have a little hydro mist and we cleansed it with our Renew Co-Wash, which is our non-foaming cleanser. Yes. <laughs> and I'm gonna pick it up with a scissor. Pick it up with the scissor, just through the center. I'm just gonna chip in. Morning, guys. Welcome back, Lucy. Was you on vacay or something? It was, it was amazing. Where'd you go, a wedding? Yeah, I went to a wedding, but Expo looked amazing, and oh, I yeah. loved the pictures, and the, I'm so jealous I wasn't here. We missed you. All the way up. Now we can blast it dry. So let's blast it dry and have a look. She can sit in that chair. I'm pretty confident that her hair is going to like lie well because of the texture mm -hmm. so that's why I don't need to really use a brush it's all cut in I will be putting a bit more product in later just to enhance it I kept the cape on because if I want to cut a little bit more I've got the cape on Todd's asking who cut your hair sorry Todd's asking who cut your hair oh Camel I had a little bit of time last week to get a cut. Got rid of some of the grey. Mm -hmm. off. I'm trying to dry it all at the same time with your hands.
forward from me. Good, okay, so now we'll pick up our scissors. <clears throat> Let me just have a little, little check. Comb it through. Todd Dow says, I do want to thank you, Nick. The Brooklyn Live education you provide is not only education, it's inspirational. Every week I find myself trying a new technique and my clients are noticing that I'm stepping my game up. Aww. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. I'll keep it up, Todd. Next time we'll get you expo. Hopefully next year we'll get into Canada. Come and see you. You can check this when the hair's dry. Because sometimes you find just a little bit that adds. And now it's time for me to just put a little bit of dry and we'll put our refinish in there, which is our dry shampoo, it's our texture spray. You come and sit here, Marissa. Yeah. You've become very good now. <laughs> See how quiet I'm you skip, Take a seat right there, sweetheart. Thanks. You'll see this. Product. Yes. It's not going to dull it, it's going to add a little bit more texture to it. Nice thing about this texture spray, it's a dry shampoo, mm. but it's also a texturizer. It adds a little bit more. Smells kind of mm, smells good, smells yeah? Amazing. Gives a bit more thickness. Yeah. To the hair. <laughs> Haley Covington says, Love refinish these days. Sold four yesterday. Say that again. Haley Covington says, Love refinish these days. I sold four yesterday. Awesome. Yeah, great product. $29. Adds. So there's our little. <laughs> She's back. I'm back. Things are back, baby. There you go, that's a little, that's a tweak. It looks good, yeah? It looks it. great. Let's come over here. All Hi. right, baby. Head down for me, Rockstar. Let's do the same thing here. Oh, we're in good shape for you and your cat, too. Yes. We've got to go to the red wall first. Perfect. That's our finish. So if we want to kind of put more volume in, this is gonna do it, I'll show you. You ready? Low speed. Now we've set the hair texture in. Roman dried it, so now I'm gonna Bring out uh, the beast. Like a poopy doggy. I'm gonna bring out the doggy. Bring out the right. dog. Bring out the dog. <laughs> dog. That's with a W. It's D A W G. Dog. dog. Shake it right out.
right back. Come around here, Lauren, so you can get these layers. Yeah? So she's still got all the length, but now she's got some volume right the way through. Beautiful. It's going to get bigger and bigger as the day goes on. Yeah, it is. That's <laughs> what she said. <laughs> what is she talking about? What's she talking It's going to get bigger and bigger as the day goes on. But right now it's time for us to go to our red wall and get the final Let's shots. Go. The pair of you. Let's go to the red wall, please, ladies. The red wall. The red wall right here. But we're going to go right here under the erosion. Oh. It's so shiny. Oh, <laughs> you could be a hairdresser. <laughs> you could be a hairdresser. You're gonna going be. to be. She's going to be a hairstylist. So we have a razor bar with bangs. And then we have a... What do we call you? Sexy Shaggy Cool. Is that right? Yeah. <laughs> she looks good, yeah? Feel good? Feel that good? Are you got, a photograph? You've got 500 nice. people wow. watching oh. right now. Hi, everybody. Yeah, hey. there you go. You see? <laughs> Cute. <laughs> Roman, you want to say goodbye? Bye, everybody. Thank you. Bye. Don't forget, tune Thanks. in. Oh, what's Lauren wearing? Nothing, That's her outfit today. What is this today? today? Uh, it's not like a white top. Yeah. Lauren is wearing a white top with a uh, <laughs> leopard belt and some is that, dark skinny jeans and Doc Martens and a green, olive green. Olive green. Jack Rowe. All right. Yeah. Well, we're going to get ready for the day. Have a happy day. Thanks for tuning in. See you next time.